Hello and welcome to Fast Car TV. Today I'm at G Techniques HQ in Northampton. But why are we here? It's a very cold day in November which is the perfect conditions to talk through the best way to maintain your car during the winter months. So, Don, would you like to talk us through some of the procedure? Yeah, thanks, Jules. Um, essentially, caring for your car in the winter time, not a lot of people have got A, the time to do it, B, the weather to do it, and the cars are constantly getting bombarded by road salts, by grime, by dirt. Um, so rather than give it a full detail, the best way is just to pick a select few products and these sort of five or six products will get you through the winter time, back into springtime when you can roll the car out again, get your polishing machine out and then recoat it. So the first, first product, citrus foam. Yeah. This is a, something you put in your snow foam. Dilution ratio to this is 100 ml of products, 900 ml of water. You put this in and you coat the car with it. Now our foam is a little different from lots of other foams. Our foam is designed to run off the car. So you don't want the foam to cling to your car, because if the foam is clinging to your car, it's not pulling the dirt and the grime off. You need it to, to get it off the surface of the car. Now with the citrus snow foam, a top tip for this is spray it from the bottom up. So again, when it's streaking, it's streaking back onto itself. It just means you get a nice even coverage of the snow foam and you're getting lots of product pulling all that ingrained dirt off. You then, once you've rinsed the uh, citrus foam off, you then go on with the G-Wash. Now our G-Wash is just a pure shampoo. It's got loads of really high quality surfactants. Um, what does that mean? Um, it's lots of high quality ingredients which are really, really good at cleaning dirt off the surface. Um, we don't put any additives in our G-Wash uh, because we don't want that to conflict with any of the coatings or any other, other sealants, um, which can sometimes leave a bit of a slick surface and can, can sometimes uh, cause compatibility issues. So it's sort of wax free, has there any wax in it? No wax in it, it's just a really, really high performing shampoo. But it won't strip? But, and it won't, and more importantly, it won't strip it, no. So all these products here, um, they're all pH, uh, pH balanced, yep. Um, in their natural state, Yes, they will be a high pH in the bottle, but by the time you've diluted them with water, you're actually using a pH neutral product. And then a top tip, when you're using your G-Wash, we actually use three buckets here. Well, technically it's two, so it's, a, it's a, one for your wash solution, one for your rinse solution. Both of them are buckets with grit guards in, so that's about splitting out the dirt. So what you do is you get your wash mitt with your G-Wash, wash the panel, rinse it, separate the dirt out from your wash solution. We've also got a third bucket specifically for wheels because what you don't want to be doing is taking all your brake dust and all the grime from the arches and the brakes, putting that back in your paintwork, yeah. So that's why we have a specific wheel bucket, again with a grit guard. You don't need it so much for a wheel bucket, you don't need a grit guard for the wheels, but just having a separate bucket for your wheels is really, really important just to keep that dirt away from your main wash solution. So now the paintwork's wash, you then move on to your wheels. Now there's two different types of products. The W5 sort of serves as a twin purpose. So you can actually put the W5 all-purpose cleaner and it can be applied to any surface. Um, that will help to loosen up dirt and dust on the paintwork, but you can also use it on tires. You can also use it in a wheel well. So pretty much put it on anywhere, but really, really good at getting into the ingrained dirt in your wheel arches. So absolutely cracking product for that. That product, spray it on, leave it to work for 30 seconds or so, and then just hose it off. You've then got the W6. So the W6 Iron and General Fallout Remover does what it says on the tin. It was designed primarily as a fallout remover for paintwork. So if there's any iron, um, any metal deposits in the air that then land on the paint, you spray that on, it turns purple, and it actually removes them yeah. or starts to loosen them from the paintwork. Yeah, exactly. So if it's turning purple, it means there's something there and actually you can see it working. Um, the downside is it doesn't smell great, but that's a necessity of the product to perform because it, 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 needs, you know, it, it needs to be like that. A bit like me. <laughs> Performs great, <laughs> don't smell great. <laughs> um, so again, you can use that on alloy wheels, uh, you can use it on paintwork. Uh, it's not, not an issue, it's, it's, it's fairly compatible with most surfaces. There's quite a lot of beading that's come back. This was necessarily wasn't there beforehand because all those pores have been clogged up, so we can now see that that's all been released. Typically what you do after any sort of wash, you dry your car. Um, what we're going to do here is just to show everybody how they can get a really good bit of wind protection. Um, they can use our C2 liquid crystal. Right. Um, so this is a ceramic sealant. It's a spray on product that probably gives you up to about six months worth of hydrophobic protection and dirt repellency. In the winter time, it's all about dirt repellency. Though. So rather than typically dry your car, then spray something, then wipe it off, you can actually apply this while this is still wet. Right. So it literally is, Give the panel a couple of sprays, get your drying towel, and 
then wipe over. And you can see there really quickly, that's it, that's done. So all you're doing is you're then applying that all the way around the car and it's actually, you're, you're applying protection and sealant whilst you're drying the car. So it's almost two jobs at once? Yeah, pretty much it's two jobs in once. It's, it's saving you time again. So this is our uh, diamond weave MF4 drying towel. So this is specifically designed for coated cars, but you can use it on non-coated cars as well. And the idea is, is we've got this diamond weave here that if you were to unweave that, it would be a humongous towel. So actually it's made it a lot more compact and condensed. So you get a lot more microfiber in there. Right. Now you do the bonnet in the front if you want. Yeah. See, there's no trickery. Well, I think we timed that about right, Jules. Yeah. Light's starting to go. Typical winter's, winter's day. Um, so we've just C2'd it now. It's got a nice protective coat on it. It's all been washed. It's ready for another couple of weeks or a few weeks worth of, uh, of uh, getting run on the roads. And I mean, what was that, start to finish half an hour? Yeah, I mean, an hour tops. It depends, you know, the, the more proficient you are at washing, the more used to the washing uh, that you are, and especially if you're lucky enough to have all the gear, but it shouldn't take you any more than an hour. No, no. no nice simple steps, easy to do, and one very, very clean car.